Hey everyone, my name is Matthew Ginzali and welcome to a brand new episode of Reasons to Live. Basically, it's a show dedicated specifically towards all of you out there watching this who struggle with suicidal thoughts like I once did to remind you that there are dozens, hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, trillion, dicillion, look up dicillion, infinite reasons why you should choose life. Now, before we get started, I have one question for you. How are you doing today? I would truly like to hear what you have to say. I really hope you're doing good, because let's face it, you deserve to be doing fucking amazing, because you're awesome. A lot more awesome than you realize. But now, the topic of today's episode is finding things that you didn't know you were looking for. That's a big, big, big part of life, about finding the things that you didn't know what you were looking for. My suicide attempt was around five years ago, maybe six, and it's been a lot better in the aftermath since I've gotten better. I found pretty much everything in my life that I have right now, with the exception of a couple friends, are things that I didn't even know I was looking for. Take this for example. When I first started college on my first day, well, orientation, it's before the first day, but anyway, I met a guy and we became best friends, and now he's one of my best friends and we hang out every single week getting lunch. And that was something I didn't know that I was looking for when I was at my darkest points. I shut the world out. I didn't think there was anything I needed or would be fun or useful or helpful, but I was proven wrong. I was proven wrong on that. I found a bunch of hobbies that I really, really love. Mario, history, all kinds of good things that I would never have found out that I liked had I not decided to give life another chance. And it can be the exact same for you. Now, I'm not saying this will happen immediately, but it will happen. When you choose life, you will find so many different things that you didn't know you were looking for, and you'll be grateful that you chose to keep going and find these things. All right, before we get going, quick 1v1, you and me, if that's all right. Now, down on the link in the description below, for those of you out there actively struggling and need help almost immediately, here's what I did. I put five mental health resources for you. I put the Crisis Text Line, National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, the National Sexual Assault Hotline, the Trevor Project, and the Trans Lifeline. Now, I know, I know, before you get into it, I know calling in a helpline can be a very, very scary, intimidating thing. Trust me, when I was struggling with suicidal thoughts at some of the worst points in my life, it was terrifying for me. I thought that if I called then, the situation would be taken out of my hands, and I would have to go to say an institution or anything like that. Silly, odd fears that plague us all. So, here's what I did. The first article, the first link in the description below, I apologize, will take you to an article by BuzzFeed News that explains exactly what happens when you call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline or text the crisis text line. And it does a really, really good job of explaining the ins and outs and the process. So please give it a shot if you're feeling a little apprehensive. Also, what you can do is also down in the uh, links in the description below, I put on top of the numbers to these resources, I put their website so you can check out things like their FAQ page and see what they're really about when you call in. All right, thank you so much for watching, but more importantly than the thank you for watching, I don't really care about views. More importantly, I hope my words today were able to help you in any way possible in your struggle and to realize that, yes, life is worth it. I know you can do this, my friends. My name is Matthew Ginzali, and remember, there's always a reason to smile.